Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I will be showing you inverse kinematics in Get 4. For this tutorial, I am using the YBOT model from Mixamo. It is pre-rigged, however your own rig model will work just the same. You can also upload your character to Mixamo and use its auto-rigging system. I also suggest watching my FBX import tutorial to import the model. So now to create the inverse kinematic node, we will select our skeleton. I will add an IK skeleton 3D. We will select our root bone. Since it is now connected to our skeleton, we can access those bones. So I will go ahead and select the left arm. And for the tip, I will select the left hand. So it will start at the shoulder and end at the hand. Now we will need to create a target node. So I'll just create a simple node 3D. I'll just call this left arm target. And this is where our hand bone will go to. Now, we will select our skeleton IK, we will assign that target node that we just created, and now we can drag it to where we would like it to go, so let's put it up here, and if I over to my skeleton IK, I press play IK, you'll see the hand will automatically go to the target. And if we press play IK, and we go through interpolation, you'll see that it will interpolate from where it started to where the target is. And keep in mind that our target node's rotation also matters. So to have the palm facing outwards, we could simply go to our target node, set it to 90 degrees, and we will press play IK again. And now it will be facing outwards and it'll work just the same. Now to use this in game, we will go ahead and create a script on our skeleton IK. In our ready function, we will simply type start, and then we'll go ahead and create a animation player then we will create a new animation we'll just call it wave and here we'll add a new track the property will be the skeleton ik type in interpolation we'll first set it to zero so right click insert key go to about 0.5 drag it to one insert a new key and drag it to one We'll set it back to zero, set this to loop. We'll go ahead and take our animation player, reference it in our script. We'll just call it anim and type anim dot play wave. And now if we go into press play, you'll see that we will get a waving animation using inverse kinematics. Alternatively, we can simply animate the position of our target node. To do so, we will first set our interpolation to the maximum of one, and then we will simply animate the position. Then we simply need to start that new animation. And if we press play, you'll see that we are moving our target node and our hand is going right to it. Anyways guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.